Chinook RV out of Elkhart, Indiana has been making Class B RVs on and off since the 1990s. They last re-entered the market in 2016 with two models. The Bayside, which is an executive touring van with seating for up to 10, and the Countryside, which is more of your traditional RV. Now, if these vans look familiar, it's because they appear to be almost identical in layout and interior design to the day cruiser and weekender models by Midwest Automotive Designs. Now, I don't know if Midwest Automotive Designs makes these coaches for Chinook, and I only point it out because if you end up liking these models, then you should also check out Midwest's lineup. Let's take a look at the Bayside. So I reviewed a very similar model from Midwest Automotive. It was the Day Cruiser 144, built on the shorter 19-foot Sprinter chassis, and I really liked that model for what it is, and that is a touring coach. A touring coach should have lots of seating and that seating should be really comfortable and the Bayside gives you plenty of both. On the standard model, you have seating for 10, six of them in captain's chairs with three point seat belts, and you can upgrade those to heating and massage. The two facing sofas in the back can jackknife into a small bed. It's not really a bed that you're gonna be using often because you have to sleep laterally and it's pretty small. Also, the microwave and refrigerator are strangely located in the back in the bathroom, which isn't ideal, but at least you get them in a coach that seats up to 10. The full kitchen model moves the refrigerator and microwave out of the bathroom by replacing one of the jump seats. The Bayside isn't set up for camping. Air circulation while you're parked is poor because there's no rooftop ventilation and the windows in the coach don't open. There's also no screen door package. Cabinet storage is limited and small and there is no dedicated coach heating system. There is a heat strip in the rooftop AC unit, but it's too small to adequately heat the coach in lower temperatures. There's also no tabletop that can be set up inside the coach, so no family meals in here. But as a touring coach, as a weekender, the Baysider excels. It's designed for carrying lots of passengers on long road trips in style and comfort. And I think it's great that Chinook is at least trying to address this particular market need. Now, the countryside is a true RV in the sense that it is designed more for camping. It has the same interior design as the Bayside with signature rubbed burl wood for the cabinets and Maybach style seating but it also has important features that are necessary for camping but are missing from the Bayside. And those are things like proper ventilation with a rooftop fan, awning style windows that open in the coach, a side screen door package, and larger tanks, 32 gallons of fresh water, 27 gallons of gray, and 15 gallons of black. It also sports a dedicated Espar diesel fired coach heater. The countryside comes in three floor plans. All of them feature a rear lounge that converts to your bedroom. The MB4 model comes with four captain's chairs up front. The MB model replaces two of the captain's chairs with a larger galley and more storage. And the FB swaps the position of the bathroom and refrigerator on the MB and eliminates the wardrobe cabinet over one of the ottomans. All of these layouts feature a table set up in the back with integrated cup holders and a sofa that converts into a large 68 by 75 inch bed or two twin beds measuring 29 by 75 inches. The galley has a two burner propane stove and that's something else missing on the bay side and you can opt for an induction cooktop. There's a sink, convection microwave and a large five cubic foot compressor driven refrigerator with a separate freezer. The bathroom on the countryside is a more traditional two-piece wet bath with the shower and toilet sharing the same area. There is no sink in the wet bath and that gives you more room to stand and move about. The countryside comes with a 3000 watt inverter, two AGM lead acid batteries, 160 watts of solar and a 2600 watt LP generator. I'm not sure if the coach could be upgraded to the Xantrex lithium system but that is an option on the comparable Midwest automotive design coaches. And if they're building these coaches for Chinook, then they're likely an option on these coaches as well. Some other standout features. This coach can be ordered on the 4x4 Sprinter chassis. And you can opt for the air ride suspension upgrade, as well as a wireless internet router and satellite TV. The coach comes with a three-year warranty, and dealer pricing ranges from around 
115 to 126,000, depending on how you option it. Now there's one interesting add-on, and it's not really an add-on, it's an RV in itself, but it complements the countryside and was just introduced at the 2019 RVX show, and that's the trail wagon. It's a kind of a toy hauler meets second bedroom meets entertainment rig. I don't know exactly how to describe it, but it features a big empty space for hauling around bulky stuff like motorcycles or bikes. It's fully bonded aluminum in its construction, and it has metal diamond plate full floor and sidewall coverage. The rear ramp lowers electrically with a remote and there's even a remote control wench system. But this thing also has some really interesting features like a bed that electrically lowers from the ceiling and can transform the inside of this rig to a bedroom. There's an entertainment center with an LCD TV and sound bar that electrically lift out of the cabinet, a compressor refrigerator, it also has its own power system with 440 amp hours of AGM batteries, solar prep for 200 watt solar panels, and a 1000 watt inverter. Its styling is designed to match the Mercedes Sprinter with the same exterior windows, the same tail lights, and matching body color. So the Trail Wagon's an interesting product that complements any Sprinter based coach, especially if you're needing a second bedroom or lots more room for hauling. Pricing and availability are not yet announced, but as soon as they are, I'll update you on my community tab. Okay, that wraps it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all again next time. Bye.